the 13th floor haunted house in Denver, Colorado. Today on Colorado Martini Living. <laughs> Colorado Martini does not believe in an ordinary date night like a dinner and a movie. We feel the key to a successful relationship is excitement and thrills. Like the 13th floor haunted house in Denver, Colorado. The best things about the evening was getting a VIP tour of the 13th floor as they got ready for the evening. right now um, we I'm taking a little extra time on our actor here um, he will be performing outside um, so I'm trying to add a little more detail and kind of really just make his um, make his makeup pop so that when he interacts with customers outside you know they could maybe get distracted by like the detail on his neck and then he can have some time to maybe just like snap do a trick or do something cool with them so yeah he's um, he, an airbrush for all the makeup? Yes, we do. I mean, it's just the quickest way to get makeup on, you know, dozens of people at once. So, yeah, we choose to do it um, with an airbrush versus hand painting it. And so, um, it's really challenging to master an airbrush afterwards. Uh, or, you know, it's hard to master an airbrush it, to do line work just because of the detail. But over time, you know, um, I usually try to train my artists to to like work with line work and to do some hand detailing you know um, freehand that way they can really be quick and um, so basically how did you get involved in this um in a long time ago i think i was really young i've always liked art i've always been an artist um, so i was just always interested in special effects makeup and i think the closest thing to like illustration with makeup is probably you know haunted house makeup it's not quite beauty makeup it's not quite fantasy it's just very kind of it's just very my style <laughs> well it's just absolutely wonderful you're doing oh, thank a you. fantastic job so what part do you play what part do you play i'm bones Ooh. You want to put it on? <laughs> yeah, so he'll be outside interacting with all the customers, you know, being um, <laughs> being a little terrorizer. And I'll have you take your mask off. So how long have you been Bones? Uh, it's my first year's Bones because it's the first year we're doing it. So how did you get involved in this? Me? Um, I actually got started for the wrong reasons. I was following a friend because I wanted to keep being friends with him. And, uh, <laughs> uh, and I kind of just fell in love with it. I've been doing it since uh, 2011. 
Well, you guys are doing an amazing job. What's your character's name? Ah, I like that. Uh, so, do they pay you in peanuts or body parts? That's awesome. And, and you've been here for a while? Well, thank you so much for your time this evening. Colorado. So this is what zombies do uh, before they scare people. <laughs> this is really, really cool in here. So all the zombies and monsters are getting into place right now. So they've come up from the makeup room. After getting a tour of all the pre-activities, we were escorted to the front of the line to go through the haunted house. Oh my god, 
have to do this haunted house. It is like the best, the best haunted house I've ever been in. It was awesome. <laughs> my heart's racing. <laughs> oh my God, hands down. That was the best haunted house in the world. I what do you think? 13th floor, they rock. Plus they have a bar. They have a bar. And that <laughs> automatically scores with Colorado Martini. Let's go there next. So, how long have you been here, Mr. Death? Uh, a long time. Long time, long time. So, I have to ask you, do, do they pay you in money, bones, corpses? I like this guy.